This week on The Wire, women more likely to own a home, liberals back broker trails, and lenders drop mortgage rates. Uh, welcome to The Wire, where you can get all the top stories happening from the week in real estate for March the 14th, 2019. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest. I'm Australia's leading financial educator, and I've helped train over 18,000 hardworking everyday Australians to reach their financial goals, whether they be home ownership, whether they be travel and lifestyle, or early retirement. Uh, now, of course, we love to see your interaction with these videos. So please like, love, angry, comment, question. Of course, if you want to get one of your questions answered in our Just Ask Tim video series that happens once a week, put your question down below and I'll get back to you about that. But in the meantime, uh, please share this uh, video on your social media channels with your friends and family so they can get the benefit of this valuable information. But let's get into the top stories happening this week. So women more likely to own homes. So Australian women are more likely to own their home than men despite the pay gap. So overall 60% of Australian women own their home either with a mortgage or debt free and that compares to 56% of men and this is according to ABS figures. Now uh, among the under 35s, 27% of women own their home compared to 21% of men. Okay now EY Chief Economist Joe Masters says the figures are surprising given that women earn less than men. The trend for younger women to be homeowners is evidence the figures aren't skewered by divorce or by women outliving their partners. Now, it might be about women being somewhat more risk averse and more conservative in their spending, Masters says, and women over time have proven to be good budgeters. However, Masters says men are more likely to invest in shares and notes at the Household Income and Labor Dynamics in Australia survey, that's the Hilda survey, if you've heard of that before, found that women tend to have lower financial literacy than men. Now, home ownership is higher for women than men in all age groups up to the ages of 65, and women also tend to pay off their mortgages uh, earlier. That's what the figures from the ABS suggest. So, go girls, hey? All right, moving on, Liberals back broker trails. So the federal government has ditched a key recommendation from the Royal Commission to scrap trail commissions for new loans arranged by mortgage brokers. The mortgage broker industry, which had warned that many brokers would go out of business if the Hain recommendation was approved, cheered at Treasurer Josh Frydenberg's announcement that the government will review trail commissions in three years if it remains in government. Frydenberg acknowledged that mortgage brokers and small lenders are absolutely critical in the mortgage lending market, and he said that abolishing trail would be a free kick to the banks. So Mortgage Choice CEO Susan Mitchell says that Australia's 17,000 mortgage brokers will applaud the government's common sense decision. It is clear that abolishing trial will have an adverse effect on home, the home lending market and would be detrimental to top uh, competition. The latest data shows that 60% of home loans originate through the mortgage broken channel, yet the Australian Financial Complaints Authority data revealed that out of the 6,522 complaints against financial services providers in November, only 29 related to mortgage brokers. So I'm sure you guys have uh, heard my f uh, feedback in the past regarding uh, brokers and trails and fee for service. Look, bro brokers provide um, uh, much more competition to the market, which has ultimately given consumers greater choice and has also pushed down the interest rates that people pay. So overwhel overwhelmingly, much better for the market to have brokers in. Trials I also think is a great idea because it gives an incentive for the broker to keep providing services to the client uh, and maintaining that business rather than having maybe just a straight up upfront commission where I think you might see brokers more likely to churn, which I don't necessarily think is uh, good for the market. But let's move on to our third story for this week. Lenders drop mortgage rates. So some lenders have lowered their interest rates in the past week, which is continuing the trend of rate changes out of cycle with the RBA moves. Now, National Australia Bank has dropped its rates on its tailored home loan package for owner-occupiers, cutting rates to 3.79% for principal and interest loans and 4.34% for interest-only loans. It's also dropped its fixed rates for investors down to 3.99% for per, uh, principal and interest and 4.18% for interest only. So certainly if you're looking at uh, print, uh, your, own, uh, your own home, if your rate hasn't got a three in front of it, you should be definitely kept touching base with our team to see what we can do to help you guys out. Um, the moves follow, uh, the, this follows moves by Adelaide Bank, which repriced its owner, occupier, investor home loan products for new business. For owner-occupied mortgages with an LVR of less than 90%, Adelaide has reduced rates on its SmartFit and SmartSaver products by up to 34 basis points, with rates now starting for 3.87. With the biggest reductions, however, are to Adelaide Bank's investor home loan products. So you're noticing that the banks are starting to get more competitor in the investor home loan space, opening up their books for those kind of products again. With banks cutting rates on both its SmartFit and SmartSaver products by up to 92 basis points. 
Teachers Mutual Bank and its subsidiary brands, UBank, Firefighters Mutual Bank and Health Professionals Bank have repriced their fixed rate home loan offerings. They include reductions up to 50 basis points on both investor and owner occupied home loan rates. So look, I know a lot of people, maybe they've had previously been on interest only, switching to principal and interest, or maybe you've come out of your period and now starting to pay a higher variable interest rate. Definitely, if you want to get those rates down, maybe save thousands of dollars every single year, free up some of your cash flow, you want to be uh, making an inquiry and speaking to one of our team here, you can do that here through the Facebook page, uh, or you can just email us through our website, get onto the infinitewealth.com.au website, and we can help you out from there. Guys, that covers all the top stories happening from the week in real estate for this week, March the 14th, 2019. Like I said, we love to see your interaction with these posts, so please comment question, like, love, angry, share, share, share. Hope you guys have a great week and I'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Good night, guys.